What's up guys? So today we are going to talk about some whiteboarding and we're going to do a little bit of it. Uh, it's not going to be anything really intense, uh, but it's something that we have to do and it's not going to be a very interesting episode. It's probably going to be more of a boring one and so I'll try and keep it as brief as possible without taking away too much information from you guys. Uh, today we're going to really just kind of uh, lay out the floor plans for this entire website and answer a few basic questions that might not be the most interesting questions to ask, but we need to ask them so that we can make sure we're focusing in the right direction. And I'm gonna try and keep this video as raw as possible in the sense that I'm not gonna edit a lot of this down. I'm gonna keep a lot of stuff in there, and I'm probably gonna do that with a lot of videos in this series uh, because I don't wanna take away too much of that information from you that you might be interested in or you might wanna know or maybe you just don't know and you need to know. Whatever the case may be, I don't want to take too much of that away, so I'm going to keep this as raw as possible. Uh, so today we're going to go ahead and like I just said, we're going to answer a few of those questions and we might do, we're not really going to do uh, anything with a mood board, we're not going to build a mood board. Um, you can go ahead and you can build one on Envision app, it's super simple, I'll put the link to it down below and you can do it there if you want. But just because I've been on the internet a lot and I know a lot of what's out there, I have a few websites in mind that I really appreciate and I really like. Uh, and I will probably just go ahead and show those to you instead of making a mood board with them. I'm just going to show those to you right now. Uh, and if I choose to make a mood board off after this video, I really doubt I will. But if for whatever reason I do, I'll make sure I show you guys that. Uh, I don't want to leave you out of that, but I don't feel like that's too necessary. Uh, for this specific project at least not right now uh, So anyways without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the computer so we can just go ahead and answer those few questions I'm gonna write them out uh, Probably using text edit just to keep things simple because we don't really need to use anything else right now It's just a little Q&A that we need to do to make sure we're all headed in the right direction All right guys, so I have gone ahead and opened up this document here and I've just I listed out a few questions here. There's only five. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this simple. I don't want to get too deep into this and then find out we're going in the wrong direction. So we're starting with these basic questions. And then from here, I'm going to take what I think uh, my target audience is and I'm going to go meet with those people and I'm going to talk about what I think the most important features uh, and or aspects of this website are to them and see what it is they have to say, see what it is they really want, see what it is they want to know, see what it is they want to see, uh, and, and go from there. And then uh, I will be talking about that in the next uh, video because the next video was doing some user research and I can't really bring you guys along with me on that. So I am going to, it's basically going to be a review of the, re the user research I did because I want to respect their privacy and I will talk about it on camera, uh, not mentioning any specific names or anything like that, but uh, I will go over that with you and talk about what their answers and suggestions were. So the first question is, who is the owner? So for this, the owner is actually me. I don't have a bunch of people like on a board making decisions for this company or anything like that yet. So uh, I'm just leaving this at me for right now. That is the owner of this website and that could change in the future we will see how that goes though so the second question is who is the target audience now this is going to be a little different so my primary target audience is honestly it's going to be other designers so i'm just going to i'm going to keep it a little broad because i don't want to lock it into anyone only in web design or application design i want to keep it open enough to people for uh, other parts of the design industry so we have you know we've got typography and we have other things like that um, but i'm what one thing i'm thinking is i do want to kind of like segment this website so i i need a primary focus for this website and i guess that is another good question we can ask what is the primary focus for this website all right so um because i i when, when you come to this website i really want there to be like this primary thing that you see right off the bat and it's like oh okay so this is what they're about but i don't want to be locked into that only because even personally, I do many, many, many other things, uh, and I have over the, over the past decade almost. So um, 
I, I don't want to keep it too locked in, but I do want to segment it. So I want to focus on designers, um, but I'm wondering if maybe I should make it a little more focused on like user interface and user experience designers. I'm not sure about that yet. I'll wait and see how that goes with the feedback I get. But uh, without going into more detail about that, other people in the target audience is really going to be uh, the younger generation, honestly. Uh, and that's, again, that's very broad, but I don't want this to be appealing to uh, other uh, groups of people that are much older than me. I want to stay current in the world that's coming up. I, I, I don't want to get left behind in the ways that I work. And honestly, I don't want to be working on projects for old and boring people. Now, if they're old people that aren't boring, they will most likely end up liking what the younger generation is liking. That's what I'm hoping, honestly. So don't quote me on that. Don't take me for my word. But that's that's my thinking behind saying I want to appeal to the younger generation. I want to stay current. I want I want this to be somewhere where they can come to, to come to this website and be like, oh, that's that's pretty dope. That's cool. I like that. And maybe get interested in working with this company or or, or just learning some of the things because. Uh, that is another thing that I really want this uh, website to focus on. I want to, I want it to focus on this YouTube channel actually. So I kind of want to, uh, you know, rotating, going back and forth. I want to be sending people to the website from here, but I really want my website to be sending people to this YouTube channel because honestly, I have plans for this channel that I I can't really discuss honestly right now. Uh, but it's it's plans for the future, and I'm excited for it. And so I really do want to be bringing in younger people that are willing to learn and willing to do things to this YouTube channel. So that is that is uh, another one of my main target audiences. And then I guess we can. Uh, I'm gonna add one more, but I'm just gonna say uh, YouTube for now. All right. So not talking about YouTube the company, but YouTube uh, the people. So you guys, essentially, you guys are also my target audience for this. So I want you to, you know, be involved with this as well and, and give me your ideas if you think I'm missing something here or doing something that you think should be a little different. Let me know. I'm open to suggestions because, again, this is part of uh, th part of this is for you, honestly. So I'm just going to say YouTube viewers so I don't get confused. Um, and then what is the main goal for this website? So this is going to, this is where it kind of gets a little confusing. Uh, it, it's going to kind of come in uh, like waves, honestly. Like uh, it's not going to be one main goal for this website for all of time. Honestly, it's going to have one goal for now. And then as it grows and the YouTube channel scales and the company scales and uh, more projects are coming in and we're working with more clients, then the main goal is kind of going to shift focus a little bit. Uh, and it might be geared more towards uh, focusing on those clients coming in and things like that. Now, I'm not saying we're going to take away from the focus of of this YouTube channel or anything like that. I'm just saying that we're going to add more things to the website as time goes on. That's why we're not going to be building out this massive website in the beginning and launching that because honestly, it's going to be a waste of time because we're going to be spending too much time perfecting things that we don't even need to be talking about on this website or, or looking at or referencing in the beginning. In the beginning, it's going to be very simple and it's going to have a few key features, a few key things about it that are awesome, that look good, that, uh, you know, give the right idea, that say what they need to say uh, without wasting months uh, designing something that isn't even for this period of time. It, it, it's something that is going to be useful in the future. It's not even useful right now. So the main goal for this website, honestly, the main goal for this website is to uh, bring an audience to YouTube. So I'm, I'm just going to say send an audience to YouTube because I really want to build up the community that we're building here right now. That is my primary and main goal for this website. That's what I want it to do. I want uh, it to help build this uh, this community on YouTube. Um, so here, let's 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 actually change it like that. I like the way that sounds. We're gonna build a community on YouTube. Okay. And then the second thing I want this to do is inspire 
others uh, to be creators that's another thing i want to do that might be down the road a little bit but it is one of the main goals and i'm going to limit myself to three things on each one of these honestly uh i don't want to give more than three but if i give less it's okay if i give more than one it's just because i want to be transparent with you guys and let you guys know what i am thinking for this for right now so we're we want to build a community on youtube we want to inspire others to be creators and we also you know we also want to uh capture new clients so let's just say this we're just going to leave it at that all right so now that we've got those answered i want to jump on down to what is the primary focus for this website and this is going to be very similar to the main goal for the website um, but uh, i'm just going to keep it brief so the main focus for this website is really going to be youtube because I am going to be pushing YouTube on there quite a bit, but it's also going to be UI and UX design as well as uh, development. So the, the, those are going to be the main focuses for this. I, th this is where I want to keep the primary focus for the website in terms of what does this company do? Well, you know, we teach people on YouTube. Uh, we we're building a community there. We do user interface and user experience design, and we also do development because yeah, UI, UX design, and development to me are kind of, they're really more of one thing, honestly. I don't like splitting it off too much and saying, oh, we only handle uh, UI and UX design. Most of, the, most of the projects I take on, in fact, all of them so far, uh, I've always taken it from uh, the design all the way through to the end of development. I've always managed that and done that myself. And I think we get the best product that way because there's so much less miscommunication when you do it like that. It's just you get to focus and you know what what everything in your design is. You know all of that. You know what you meant when you designed something a certain way. And you can design to uh, build something that's... Well, you can design with a developer in mind. I, I guess it'd be a better way to say that. So uh, let's go on to the next question. What features are the most important to me? So this one, uh, I don't really know, honestly. I have one thing that I really like, and I want... I don't want this website to get boring, honestly, because you know what happens to me so much when I'm working on a website or project for so long, I'll be working on it and working on it and working on it and working on it. And then it gets done and I publish it and I launch it and I liked it in the beginning. And then when I publish it, everyone loves it. It's great. Everyone thinks it's awesome. But then every time I go back at it, I don't like it because I've been staring at it for so so long. So one of the things I want to try and accomplish with this website for me personally is to not let it get boring. And so one of the things that I kind of have an idea for is to have a like a light uh, and dark mode that switches uh, by the time. And so what I mean by this is it is going to be on the dark mode when it's dark outside or when it hits nighttime. And then it's going to be on the light mode when it's during the day. And I just, I just want to switch it up like that because uh, especially with, with a blog, because I know I'm going to want to blog on here again. I'm going to kind of carry it over from the previous website that we have right now. And when, when someone's reading this or reading a blog post and they're reading it at nighttime, they're probably not going to want a very bright white light in their face. So I do want to cater for those people as well who are going to be reading at night. But then also keep in mind the people who are reading during the day. So I want to have a, a, an ideal situation for both of those. And I feel like we're really kind of entering the user's world at that point. We're not just giving them a single you know design that uh it fits all it's great for you in any situation no i mean your environment changes from day to night and i want the website to reflect that as well plus i think it's going to keep it fairly interesting and not let it get boring because it's going to be changing all of the time so other than that i don't have any features right off the top of my mind that i find that I want right now. That's my biggest thing. I just want it to be fresh. I want it to be interesting. I don't want it to get boring or stale. And I want to keep the user's environment in mind when they're on this website. So now, what features 
are most important to the target audience. So the target audience is designers, uh, the younger generation, and YouTube viewers. So you guys. So I think some of the uh, most important features for this website for designers would be inspiration, honestly. I, I, I mean, there are many great resources out there for inspiration for designers, especially and things like that. But um, I, I don't want to just leave it up to them to to give out all the inspiration. Honestly, I want to have some on the website that uh, can give inspiration to people that inspires you to do things. Um, and with that being said, for the younger generation, I want to you know, get them engaged and, and get them into wanting to learn this stuff. And I'm not sure how to do that at the moment, but I'm definitely looking into that. I think maybe having a podcast, uh, that deals with this website, um, maybe like a sub, uh, department of the, of the company here, uh, that is a podcast that runs a podcast, something I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think that might be interested, interesting. I'm not sure how many, uh, younger people are listening to podcasts right now. I know a few, but I'm definitely going to ask around and this is what I'm going to be talking about. So what are the most important features to the target audience? Honestly, there's inspiration. Um, and what else? I think that based on the fact that we are going to be attempting to capture new clients in the future, we should have some, uh, some features focused on some past work. So let's just say some previous work and let's do one more. I think having a prominent page that deals with YouTube and talks about the community would be a cool idea, honestly, for you guys. So let's have a prominent YouTube page on the website that talks about you guys. Um, let's see. Talks about the community. So if that's something that you guys think would be cool or that interests you, let me know. I mean, I think that would be neat. Um, but again, I don't know. This is this is why I'm going to be talking to some other people to see what their ideas are on this. Um, but anyways, these are the questions and the answers that I have right now. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to spend some time going around and talking to each of these three target audiences and seeing what it is that they like. I've got a few people here, here, and here as well. So Hopefully I can get a good idea and fine tune the rest of these down here. If these aren't already hitting on the nose, uh, I hope they are. But if not, that's what we're that's what we're doing this user research for. That's what we're going to be asking questions and talking about. So in the next video, I will definitely be talking about that. So just to recap, who is the owner? The owner right now is me. Who is the target audience? Designers, the younger generation, and YouTube viewers. What is the main goal for the website? To build a community on YouTube, to inspire others to be creators, and to capture new clients. And what is the primary focus for this website? The primary focus is on YouTube, UI and UX design, and development, just like this channel is. And what features are the most important to me? To me, honestly, it's a light and dark mode that switches by the time just to keep things interesting and not getting boring. Um, actually, you know, I just thought of another one. I want, I, this isn't really a feature, but it's something I want for this. I want it to be a very minimal design. I don't want it to be like, um, very image heavy or anything like that. I'd rather use large colors, you know, just a lot of white space and things like that, just to keep it very simple. And what features are most important to the target audience? What I think they are right now is to have some inspiration, some previous work, and to have a prominent YouTube page on the website that talks about the community. I think that is a big thing, honestly. I find it very interesting, and I would appreciate it. I hope you guys do. I hope it's something that you guys would want. But if it's not, let me know. Just leave it in the comments down below, and I can remove that, or I can change it, or do whatever makes the most sense. So before I go ahead and end this video real quick, I want to jump on over to Google Chrome. I have a few websites open that I like a lot and I just want to show you real quick. All right, so the first website I have open here is Webflow and I really do like this a lot. 
I like their use of like a dark UI, but they also have some very prominent colors as you can see right here. But the color selection I think is honestly, it's phenomenal. It's, it's very, very clean, very good. I love it, especially with all these little graphics and uh, little design elements that they have, like the colors that they have on it, I think are, they're, they're just really nice. I really love these gradients. Uh, and that's something I really do want to incorporate in the uh, website that we're going to be building. I like the use of color and just like a, a big white space. As you can see here, we got a good, a lot of good negative space here going over here as well, keeping this nice and centered and it, and it works. It works very well. It keeps it clean and you know what to look at when you're right here. And I really do like that. I think they use, uh, their footer is very large and I think it works for them because they have a lot of pages. Uh, the website we're going to work on probably is not going to have a ton of pages to start with, but it might in the future. So we will see. Um, another website that I really, really do like a lot is this one. It's Vlad Ranch uh, Radshenko. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, but this guy, this guy is awesome. I follow him on Instagram and I've, I love his work. It's freaking amazing. It's just, uh, it looks so good, especially all of his design work. It's so fun to look at, and uh, I, I'll definitely leave his Instagram link down below so you can go take a look at it. This guy has definitely got some talent, so you should go take a look at his at his work and see what all he does. You, you'll you definitely appreciate it if you like UI design. All right, so another website I like is this is where we're getting into kind of just like, you know, some of the main companies out there that focus on design and development it, one of them is squarespace and uh, i don't intend to have a website that does things like squarespace or webflow even but i do like the focus that they have on the art direction and and everything like that so i really do like how squarespace incorporates all these new animations uh, i've been looking at their website recently it's been a while since i've taken a look at it but since the last time i've looked at it which was a little while ago is definitely stepped up a lot and i really do like it i mean just like look at these animations here already watch this as soon as this as soon as this loads all the way you know the timer runs out and it's going to switch the next one that is a really nice animation i like that a lot there was some time that went into that i am sure uh, but I do really love their use of space and just keeping things really clean and simple and open and not cluttering it up too much. I mean, there's still a lot of content on here without it being too much. I like the, the use of video here, very minimal video. Uh, and it, it just looks good. And again, with the footer, I really like the footer. The footer works. They have a ton of pages. Currently, like I said, we're probably not going to have a ton of pages, so I'm not too worried about the footer looking like this or anything like that. But I really do like the like the entire design that Squarespace has got going on here. So another one I like is Podia. And I love this website. Honestly, it's it's really clean, really simple. Uh, yet again, they do have a lot of information on this. And I do like that a lot. And the guy that designed this is Mackenzie Child. And if you, you probably know who he is, honestly, I'll leave the link to his YouTube channel in the description below. You definitely got to go look at his stuff. He's got some awesome awesome work over there recently he's been focusing on illustrations and uh, i hope that one day i can get as good as he is with illustrations he's he's definitely got he's got a lot of skills so go take a look at that guy and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed to him but anyways we'll just take a quick look at this website uh to my understanding every illustration is from him i don't think anything else on here is from anyone else honestly so these are these are the kind of illustrations he does and he works on a lot um Let's just click around here and see. Ah, uh, yeah, down here. Okay, well here he is. This is actually McKinsey Child right here, uh, but I'm gonna be linking to his to his YouTube channel down below so you can take a look at that, and uh, I might give you his website as well. Uh, yeah. So I mean, this this uses some some nice uh, colors and some just nice open areas where we've got text and we're not really using too many images i mean yeah there are illustrations and i do like the illustrations like even this this little illustration here it's it's so tiny but it works so well uh, honestly so i do like this one a lot as well but that th these are all i'm going to show you right now um 
I don't want to get too into this. Like I said, we're not building a mood board right now. If that's something you guys want to do, I will provide you the link to Envision down below so you can go take a look at it and build one there if you want. And if you want to build one for this project and send it this way and we can use it on the channel, that's that's cool too. Totally down for that. So anyways, this is, this, yeah, this is all I wanted to show you right now. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope it helped you and I hope it gave you an idea of what some of the questions are that you need to ask towards the beginning of your projects. Uh, it, it's really going to help us get a good focus on where we need to go with this project. Uh, like I said, we're not going to do any mood boarding, but I showed you some of the websites I liked a lot. So if you have websites that you like a lot, uh, make sure and go ahead and just leave them down below, comment them, let me know. If you think I missed a question that I should have asked, let me know down below and ask me. And if it's a good question, I will most likely answer it as soon as I possibly can. And if it's something that should be on the video, on the channel as well, I'll, I'll answer it in a video. So I might do a little Q&A Q uh, throughout this series. I don't know. We'll see. It depends on how many questions I get, but it's definitely something I'm open to. So let me know what you guys think would be a good idea for this project. If I missed something, help me make sure I cover it all. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If it helped you, subscribe. And if you really like the videos that I'm creating on this channel, head on over to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash Zachary R. Newton, where you can help support this channel and help me create better videos every week. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.